Hey everybody, what's popping? My name is Brian Malipa and I'm just here guys to just check on you guys. I'm actually not you guys, not everybody, just you, okay? I'm just here to check on you. How are you doing my friend? Like really, how are you? you no, know, I just realized, you know, I just, we always uh, come on Facebook, we interact here and there, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, YouTube, and it's like, hey, hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, how are you? But really, am I really fine? And how, like, are you really fine when you say I'm fine, thanks, how are you? And am I really fine when I say I'm fine, thanks, how are you? It's become a cliche to just say I'm fine, thanks, how are you? But you know it. Anyway, with that, with that in mind, I just came across these numbers here. Just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give them to you like right now. And they beg to ask the question to to your friend like how are you how are you really doing now check these numbers here now these numbers uh were published on march 17 2020 and today is march 18 2020 so i don't know now it's, it's a bit it's way different it's actually worse than what you hear now okay now listen to this the word worse means bad news right Okay, listen. Now, this is this is published by Verizon USA or Verizon. I don't know how to spell how to pronounce that word. Verizon USA. Now, according to Verizon USA, video game usage has gone up seventy five percent since the the lockdown. You know the current situation that is happening around the world. Now, since the the lockdown, video game usage has gone up seventy five percent. Video streaming has gone up. 12% and social media usage has flatlined, okay? It's just remained normal. And in Italy, video, uh, video streaming has gone up 66%. Now, if you look at these numbers, what do they mean? Uh, I mean, considering the, the current happenings of the world, video game usage has gone up 75%, video streaming up 12%, and yeah. Uh, this is like, are we coping? Like this, how are you doing? Okay. Before you answer that question, more numbers coming in from Pornhub. You know Pornhub? Okay, the porn site. Porn site, Pornhub also said, yeah, uh, uh, the, the viewing of porn is also gone up, but they have more interesting numbers according to the Times. Now, according to Pornhub, um, porn usage, has gone up 11% at 2 a.m. So 2, 2 o'clock in the morning, porn usage goes up uh, 11%. And then at 8 o'clock in the morning, porn usage goes down to minus 9%. Goes down minus 9%. In other words, so what they say is normally 8 o'clock in the morning, they see a spike on the viewing of porn in like most countries. 8 o'clock, you see spikes going on. So 8 o'clock is usually time to start work, start school, okay? So there's there's a huge spike. It, so it actually goes up normally at 8 o'clock in the morning. But now they're seeing that 8 o'clock in the morning, it goes up to, it goes down uh, from the normal by 9%. So it's less by 9%, less from the normal usage of viewing a porn. Okay. And more numbers again so it's 11 o'clock 11 percent up at two in the morning and then minus nine percent down at eight in the morning and then at 1 p.m it goes up again 11 percent 4 p.m it's up from normal usage 4, 4 p.m is up by six percent and then 7 p.m up by eight percent from normal usage now why are these numbers important Check this out. What's supposed to be happening at two o'clock in the morning? What are you supposed to be doing at two, two in the morning? Okay, maybe some guys work at two in the morning, normally work at two o'clock in the morning. But uh, if you look at worldwide, I think most people don't work at two in the morning. And then there's that spike at, at 11, I mean, uh, by 11%. <clears throat> Eight o'clock in the morning, we're supposed to be at work. Okay, we are not at work. Most of us are not at work, rather. And there is that 
like upside down spike where it's actually minus um, a minus nine percent. What I my assumption is, okay, so it goes up uh, eleven percent. So guys, people are watching porn during the night. Then at eight o'clock in the morning they go to sleep. That's why it's down minus nine percent. Uh, below it's minus nine percent of the normal. So because people are sleeping at that time. Okay, it's breakfast time now, right? It's around breakfast time, I think. And then uh, 1 p.m., what's supposed to be happening? 1 p.m. is lunchtime. For most people, 1 p.m. is lunchtime. And then porn is usage, porn viewing is up 11%. So what's happening? Are we really connecting? Okay, we're staying at home. Some of us are with family. Some of us are with someone in the house. And then porn viewing is up 11%. That's supposed to be lunchtime. Are we really, really connecting with other people? Because we're saying, I think some people are saying, okay, let's self-isolate and then reconnect with the family because now you're spending more time with family. But I was spending more time with family. 4 p.m. What do you think, what's happening at your house at 4 p.m.? Okay? Because apparently porn is up by 6%. 7 p.m. In some houses, 7 p.m. is family time. Porn up. Porn usage is up by 8%. Are we really, really connecting at, your, at, at home? So this is why I'm asking my friend, how are you really doing? Okay. Okay. And then these more numbers were published and with by Pornhub again. Um, so Pornhub just published, they checked with Italy on the 9th of March, 10th of March, 11th of March, 2020. So 9, 10, 11, March, 2020. And then on the 17th of March, 2020. Now listen to these numbers. On the 9th of March, porn usage, porn viewing was up by 9%. On the 10th of March, it was up by 11%. And on the 11th of March, it was up by 13.8%. And then on the 17th of March, it was up 30%. This is just Italy here. So it kind of looks like the more numbers are coming out, you know, with the current situation, more numbers, more people are being tested, more people are getting afraid, staying indoors. And then what do you do when you're indoors? Are you watching, are you playing video games, video streaming, watching porn, whatever? What are you doing? Now, this is not being judgmental, right? I'm not judging here, but because, and I don't, I also don't think it's addiction because of certain issues that, that happened. Uh, actually, they said, Pornhub said something. Now, Pornhub announced that during this time of uh, COVID-19, this like for, for at least a month, people can go and view premium. You can, they, they have the premium side and then the free side on Pornhub, I think. Yeah. So premium, you've got to pay. They, I don't know what is there. Yeah, there's premium quality stuff. Premium quality porn on Pornhub. So you can actually view premium for free during this time of COVID-19. They're saying in support, we're supporting you while you self-isolate. We are taking care of you so that you, you know, you don't become stressed at home. That's their, uh, their reasoning. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, this is what they also say. So they say in general, Spain, Pornhub, Spain, uh, is up by 61.3%. France is up by 38.2%. And then USA is up by 6.4%. Now, yeah, these numbers are quite interesting. Now, just, I, I don't think it, this has to do with addiction, but more of uh, maybe boredom, maybe escape. Yeah, maybe boredom, escape or just finding nothing to do. But the times, the times, like 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., and 2 a.m., 8 a.m., those times here, yeah, they are calling. I think something else is happening. So is this, are you escaping? Are you bored? What do you do when you're bored? Okay. And but what's the big deal with video games? Do they matter? It's just a video game, right? Will it hurt you? It's just porn, right? You're not fornicating. You're not uh, committing adultery with anyone. It's just porn. The challenge with porn is, let me give you an example. The challenge with porn is, is, is it happens in your brain. Now, 
if you, there's a guy named Daniel G. Amen, please do Google Amen Clinics or Daniel G. Amen. His work is really, really fantastic. Now, what Daniel G. Amen does, they, they do these, they call them SPECT scans, where they scan your brain, okay? So they take a, these sophisticated cameras and they put a camera on top of your brain, on top of your head, and then they take photos of your brain. They actually view your brain and see where is, where is activity happening, which areas don't have much activities, which areas are stressed type of thing. So when it comes to addiction, when they look at your brain, if you have alcohol addiction, they can tell, oh yeah, this brain is addicted to alcohol. If it's heroin, they can tell this brain is addicted to heroin. And if they put the two brains together, they can tell, oh, this one is a heroin, this one is alcohol, and they do look different. So if you look at the images on their website, some of them, yeah, you can view them for free. Look at the images, you would be able to tell, oh yeah, this is alcohol, this is um, heroin, this is nicotine, this is work addiction, this is crack cocaine, this is yeah, crack. Yeah, and now the interesting thing is if you take a brain, if they take scans of a brain and one brain is addicted to pornography or sex addiction, pornography, and one is addicted to crack, you can't tell the difference. The brains are the same. In other words, porn does to the brain what crack does to the brain. Do you want a crack addict's brain? I'm not, this is not being judgmental. It's just that this is what happens, okay, when you when you use, okay, and this has got nothing to do with addiction, but using, okay. So if you're using porn or if you're using crack, it doesn't mean you're actually addicted to it. It's just that you're changing your brain structure functions of certain areas of your brain, okay? So, if you do need help, hey, talk to Brian. <laughs> I'm here, I'm your friend, right? And if you don't need help, it's okay. And if you do know someone who needs help, hey, talk to Brian, get help somewhere, okay? And before I leave, I apologize for the poor video quality. I, I know it's a poor video quality. I actually uh, downsized the quality from the, the, the one that was there, that was preset, was the highest. Yeah, it was normal, and then I put it on the highest quality, and then I realized it becomes too big. Like uh, a 10 minute video would be 900 megabytes, okay? So, but this one is gonna be maybe 12 megabytes. I'm just trying to save my, my A time and megabytes over here with this video. So I do hope, I'm gonna try to make more of these videos to just get out, um, to, to help one another, you and me. And if you have any questions, please just send me an email on this page or anywhere, anywhere you can, and then I will answer questions over here on, on, on videos like this. And again, I am trying to, I need some airtime for this. So please do support me in, uh, in making these videos. You can support by, because I need to buy the airtime. Please just click the link. I put the first comment, the first comment, the first thing comment on the in the comments. It's gonna be mine. It's just a PayPal thing. Five bucks would be good. Uh, I think it will take me a long way. So until we meet again, be amazing.